Hey, welcome to my video regarding file upload using Node. Today I'm also launching a video on an end-to-end -end guide using AWS S3 with Node, and then next week I'm going to have a video on using just the file upload for an S3 bucket. So let's get started. If you look at my screen right now, I have the MERN boilerplate um, rep repository open. I had this. I put out a video last week getting started with MERN. This is what I'm going to use um, going forward with all my Node videos. It's just a nice starting point. So what you're first going to have to do is da uh, clone this repo. So I got my terminal open. I'm on my desktop, as you can see. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to do uh, git clone and then the link. And now I'm just going to switch over to that folder. And the next step is we have to install our npm packages. So that involves typing in npm install. And it's going to run through the ins installation period. That may take some time. So when that's happening, I'm going to show you this file here. This is actually going to be used in my other tutorials, but it's a, it's essentially the file upload and then it adds the additional S3 upload code. So if you look here, uh, we're going to actually use this. So this function here, upload to S3, is the only thing that you're going to have to ignore. We're going to use busboy. We're going to use the same app.post. Uh, we're going to use the same upload point. We're going to upload a, a constant here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to upload a constant, so this would be just text, and then we're going to upload a second thing that actually is a file. Let's see how our npm install is doing. It's still happening. And the last thing actually is you can't see my menu bar, but you'll need this here. This is called Postman. What we're going to do is make a, a um, API request. You think we're not going to do anything on the front end because I'm, there's no need for me to show you that. Um, it's a form. You can look that one up. So I have mine all set up. I have you know uh, form data checked, element one, element two. I have no headers. I just deleted the, the other one. Element two, and then I have the image in there. So you can change it by clicking on this and change it to view file. And I have some text. I'm also going to use Atom. So as this installs, I'm actually going to open up the proper project. Open. That's not what I'm looking for at all. I'm looking for my desktop. Mern and I hit open. Node, the mod, uh, node modules folder is still not finished, but we also have to do one step as I showed you in the previous video. We have to create a config.js. So config.js. And say, as you can see, based on my git uh, setup for that, um, it ignores it. Copy and paste this in here. We delete the comment. Uh, since it's all going to be locally hosted, no need for no need for a username. If you're going live with this, don't trust my word for it. And then 27017 is the default for um, MongoDB. So at this point, I'm trusting you have Node installed, you have Mongo installed. Um, so what we're now going to do is we're going to actually run this after it really finishes installing. So we just run npm run start colon dev. And this is going to run our dev server. It's going to run at localhost 8080. But the thing is, we're actually not going to see, as you can see, it's there. Don't bother clicking anything, or that's going to create a database. Um, but what we're going to do here now is we're just going to add an endpoint. So we're going to create a new file under um, server routes API, and we're create a file called upload.js. Borrow this here. Put that on the end. Jump back over to our code here, and this is what we're going to copy in. This post. Uh, close it off. Right. And if we put this. I, I'm jumping around all these windows. Um, we're going to need to use Busboy, but we don't have Busboy yet. So what we're going to do is just actually copy in all of this content. You can find this on the uh, below. Copy all of this in. Remove the upload to S3. You have to add in the 
the require busboy library. Library, I keep making that mistake in these videos. And the last step is you have to go, actually go into your server.js file here under, you have two of them, you have one in the root and then you also have one in the server. And you have to add in um, the busboy library. We don't actually have the busboy library, so this won't actually work yet. So I'm just, I have my notes right here. Um, and you have to add in busboy. Connect busboy. This requires busboy dash body dash parser. This doesn't come in that file, so you're gonna have to copy this in manually. Body parser. And then you scroll down to right under app. Do app use bus boy app dot use body parser dot url. So these are all already here. I can see them right there. App dot use not user, and this is bus boy body parser. All right. Let's try that out. So we do. Oh shoot! I completely forgot. You need to run an npm install in the proper libraries. So I'm just gonna make sure I get the exact libraries needed. So you gotta do an npm install. Say um, bus boy dash dash save. Still installing. You gotta do an npm install. First, you need the body parser. Bus boy body. Parser. Sorry, you wanna do a save with that. Dash dash save. Just so when you re if you ever like put this on another on a git repo and you, you pull down it actually comes with the busboy body parser and someone else does an npm install come on you can do it computer install um, connect bus boy yes and that's the last one. And then what we'll do is we'll run it and see if it works. I mean, I, I hope it works. <laughs> I, I've gotten this working actually the, just the other day. Um, it worked totally fine. I was using AWS up, S3 upload. Um, worked like a charm. So that's why I figured I'd make a video on this just to help out anyone else out there. NPM run start dev. And so if we go to uh, API slash upload, which I have in my postman, HTTP localhost 8080 slash API slash upload. Um, this will print out, hopefully, our information. Send. There's no response there. Okay, so as you can see, um, we never actually printed out element one. But as you can see, the file is getting uploaded, image 3434. Um, the contents of it is this data. I'm just going to kill this right now. Element two. Um, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add whatever um, element one is here. Just so you can see that text is also going in with it. NPM run. Send again. There's no response coming with this. So element one in here is example dot example text. I kill this. 
you want to add a response, it's really simple. Just do a res dot send, and then typically I send back a um, bully, um, an object here that prints a, a JSON. But that's that. Um, so also check out my video on AWS S3. Um, I all the codes been included down below. If you like this video, please subscribe. I come out with a new video every single Wednesday. Might as well use the uh, edit timer that I just made. Let's try this out. NPM run start. <laughs>